Hey you guys, welcome to the stream. It's I the Sai, and I want to do a quick chat with you guys about why I think that Rebellion right now is perhaps a little bit undervalued and what the future of Rebellion may look like and why, if you don't need it now, you might need it later. Or I should rephrase it as, you will need it later. So, one of the things that we're talking about here in the stream right now, and Ime Wante just made a good comment. He said, to me, the craziest part of Modern will be when Chaos Legion leaves. The game will lose so many useful cards because right now we're all like 80% Chaos Legion teams, and the next major set better bring some good replacements. So, part of the reason why why perhaps sales are a little bit slow, now this is my opinion, of course, guys, is, is because Chaos Legion is powerful, and Chaos Legion primarily is just cheap. Like, if we were to go over to Hive Engine here, uh, all right, this was me looking at other people's um, Xbox and stuff like that. But if we were to go to Hive Engine and we were to go to the market and we were to look at Chaos, all right, we were going to look at packs of Chaos Legion. Chaos, show me Chaos. There we go, Chaos. And we were to look at like the cost of Chaos packs. You can see that you can buy packs of Chaos Legion for 89 cents, right? Meanwhile, the cost of Rebellion is $3.67. So you can basically almost get like four packs of Chaos Legion for the price of one pack of Rebellion. And when you're trying to build like a really good set, like where are you going to gravitate to first and foremost? Are you going to gravitate to some powerful and good Rebellion cards, but have to buy four times the amount of Chaos Legion? Or are you going to just gravitate towards Chaos Legion where you can just open them for like one quarter of the price basically and build a full deck? When you go ahead here and you even look at the market, right, you'll see that some of the really good Chaos Legion cards that exist right now, things like, let's take a look at Deep Lurker, right? Four cents of BCX, you can actually buy a full 10 star copy for $14. And Deep Lurker is like a staple of modern right now. So when you're comparing a $14 amazing Deep Lurker, and you're comparing that to say, uh, what's another equivalent card? Let's go look at that. Let's go look at that uh, rare version. Now this is a rare, which I'm still going to consider it equivalent because of the fact you need less BCX, right? And you were to go and you were to look at this guy, uh, Mad Order Anarchist. It's a little bit different because he's got immunity, but I mean, I'd still say like, you know, Deep Lurker arguably much better than Mad Ogre An Anarchist, right? To max him at 115, you're going to be looking at 50 times 115. You're going to be looking at over $50 for this guy to have a max. And he's arguably worse than Deep Lurker, right? So if I'm looking for value and I'm looking to fill up my deck with the best cards at the cheapest price, people are going to gravitate towards Chaos Legion right now because the cards are cheap right? And you can still use them throughout the entire life cycle of Modern until they rotate. So what I think is probably going to end up happening here though, however, is there's going to come a crunch, just kind of like uh, Ime Wente said, when Chaos Legion rotates out and then we've got two sets left that are going to be in Modern. You've got Rebellion and you've got whatever the next set is. Now, the people who just want to play wild, they'll be fine with that. They'll just take their Chaos Legion collections, they'll move over to wild, and that'll be that. But the people who still want to play modern, they're going to be kind of like stuck in a position of, well, what do I want to do now? Rebellion prices are probably not going to go in like much lower, and the next set is going to cost the same as Rebellion. So what do I do now? Do I go ahead and do I buy Rebellion cards? Or do I buy the next set? Do I invest only in individual cards? Where does that leave me if I want to play in modern? Now, if everyone ends up leaving Modern, they say, no, you want Rebellion's too expensive, and the next set is going to be too expensive as well, then what could end up happening is that people move to Wild, Wild SPS rewards continually get diminished, and then that means that the Modern rewards are going to be so high and juicy. So it could end up in one of those kinds of things when it's either you buy Rebellion now, and you use them now, and you get the benefits of using Rebellion in Modern for this next year, or... You sleep on Rebellion. Maybe you don't buy any Rebellion except for like the 10 or 15 like you, like cards that you know are awesome and that you have to buy pretty much, right? Like there's a few must buys. Like for instance, I'd say Dark Dead Blast is pretty much a must buy to be competitive, you know? Uh, Mantaroth is almost like a must buy to, to be competitive. That's arguable, I guess, right? Uh, like Grimbard and Smith is like a must buy to remain competitive. So do you just buy those cards and hope that next set is going to kind of fill in that gap or not? 
Now, if we were to go ahead and we were to take a look over here at what's actually happening right now with the sales of Rebellion, it's actually kind of obviously really slow because like I said, people don't need to buy Rebellion right now, right? They don't need to buy Rebellion. And if we take a look over here, uh, I forget who it is that's tracking it, but there's this little screen here, it shows the number of Rebellion packs that were burned sent to the DAO and actually sold. And if we were just to look at the, this most recent data here, okay? So this data is effective January 12th. There were 739,509 Rebellion packs that were burned. 81,356 were sent to the DAO and only 1,254 were purchased from the store. So, I mean, what we could end up looking at here at this point in time is if, if people aren't buying Rebellion, come the next set, Rebellion could end up being like one of those forgotten sets that those really expensive cards, like the Dark Dead Blast, the 15 really, really good ones, end up either like exploding in price because you've got next set, which is what I'm going to call it, and you've got Rebellion. And those are your only two options at that point if you want to play in Modern. Now, if there aren't any replacements for the things like... Uh, for the things in there like Dark Dead Blast, or sorry, not Dark Dead Blast, but like uh, Deep Lurkers, or in the case of Chaos Legion, what's a really good tank? How about we go with, where's that awesome tank? Uh, is he a rare? He's a rare, okay. How about we go with uh, Demon Shark? Like, let's say there's no replacement for Demon Shark in blue, right? Which right now, I don't think that, there, that there's one in Rebellion, oops. I don't think that there's a replacement tank in Rebellion for him. Take this away. Yeah, see, there's no real replacement tank for him in Rebellion, right? I mean, you've got Sea Dog of Eight, I suppose, right? But if Next Set doesn't provide a blue tank, then you're going to be kind of stuck with Sea Dog of Eight as the only tank. And I guess Chaos Rearguard, if you want to put him in front, right? But these are the kind of like things that the dynamics that might end up happening is when Chaos Legion rotates, if they don't fill those spots, you either have to come back to Rebellion to fill those spots or they have to have one in next set. If they don't have it in next set and it's only here in Rebellion, suddenly Sea Dog of Eight is the only tank in blue? Then, I mean, you're going to have to buy Sea Dog of Eight. There's no other choice if you want to play Modern, right? Uh, let's look at it. Or, or you might end up stuck with Endless Ape or Weiss or Leo Seros or something like that if there's no more Mycelic Infantry, right? Let's go and let's look at Mycelic Infantry here quickly. Uh, Chaos Legion, and we'll do Common, right? Because right now, one of the biggest tanks is, he's a rare, okay? Let's go over here, is obviously Mycelic Infantry, right? So if there's no replacement for Mycelic Infantry, what are you really left with as your options, right? Um, and you might end up having to go back to Rebellion and end up having to choose whatever it is that you've got. Like, like the next best option. Because we're talking modern now. We're not talking wild. In wild, you'll still have access to all things Chaos Legion. Wild will still maybe even be a bot zone or something like that. But in modern, you're left with Lyserios here. He's it. He's your tank. Like, there's no other green tank, is there? Like, do I only have rare done? All right, let me take away rare, and let's go down here. There's Lyserios, and I guess there's Quar, Quar, uh, as a tank, sort of, but he's, he, he, I guess he's a tank that would give weapons training to the two-drop, to the lurking puffer who would be behind him, right? So, I mean, he's he's adequate. Lyserios is adequate. I guess Zabajan would end up being a tank? Like, who knows? But what I'm saying is if if... There's no replacement for Chaos Legion, and next set also doesn't provide a replacement, then this is who you're stuck with. You're stuck with good old Ly Lyosaurus or whatever like that, or I guess obviously Mantaroth, who's a neutral card, right? Or I guess that would be some of these other neutral cards could replace it. Like that would put so much value on cards like Grimbarden Fighter. If there's if if there's no good tanks left. And the only tank ends up being Grimbardum Fighter, then the price of Grimbardum Fighter is going to go up, right? Because that's it between Rebellion and Next Set. This could be all you have, right? So you have to kind of look at it in the way of what if 
Chaos Legion rotates and there aren't replacements. So I think that, that that Chaos Legion is literally repressing the prices of Rebellion because you don't really need Rebellion because all those gaps are filled nicely with Chaos Legion. Now, Rebellion has some great support cards, don't get me wrong, like this Delph and Iron Hood. I love having access to him as a weapons trainer and having him have his three attack at four star. Would I upgrade him to six star and pay all that extra money just to get plus one speed and plus one uh, health and explosion or redemption? Probably not. But I mean, happy with him at four star and he fills a, a nice little void. But do all of the Rebellion cards fill that void right now? I don't think they do. But like I said, what you have to look at is the future after Chaos Legion rotates, right? When it rotates, then it's a whole different ball game, and we don't even know if some of these cards will be useful or not. And I'm hoping that the way that they design next set is going to be by leaving those gaps, which force you into buying the Rebellion cards, that will then be the only option, right? Like it would actually put a lot of value on Rebellion. And at that point in time, Rebellion packs won't be for sale anymore in the shop because of the burn mechanism that's happening, right? The only way you'll be able to then get these Rebellion cards is going to be on the market. And if people haven't been buying the Rebellion cards because they've all been burned or they've all been sent to the Dow, then, I mean, that's going to put a lot of buy pressure on those cards. And we could end up in another situation like what happened with Untamed when Untamed cards were like prohibitively expensive and you basically were only playing with Chaos Legion anyway, right? Maybe you'll get to the point when it's, you're only playing with Rebellion because the next set after that might even be a worse power level than Rebellion is right now. I'm not sure what the future holds, but I think that it's one of those cases of if you want to play in Modern, you're either buying Rebellion now or you're going to be buying Rebellion later at possibly a more expensive price. Again, I don't know the future. This isn't financial advice, but... With Chaos Legion gone, if you want Modern, this is what's left. You have to start looking at what's left. Like, Red Tank will be Chaos Golem, right? Red Tank will be Chaos Golem. This is this is your option of what it's going to be. It's Chaos Golem or it's Mantaroth. And we're lucky that we have Mantaroth as a neutral to kind of fill in that spot, right? But there aren't many more options aside from that. Uh, let's see. So, Rebellion is full of useless cards. Yep, right now, Rebellion is filled with useless cards. Uh, fire team becomes way worse when we lose Tarsa and we only have Nomos. Probably play Dual Summoner over Nomos. Absolutely. Nomos is one of those cards that just kind of fills like that certain, uh, this certain special rule set that you might need, right? Like in a magic only match, suddenly without having access to, what's his name? Thaddeus Brood, maybe Nomos is the go-to card now, right? In magic only, maybe Nomos just becomes the, the guy you want to play. We, we don't know what's going to happen in the future, right? Um, let's see. Weapons training in Rebellion is so strong. Absolutely. Champ Modern will be silver cards. That's right. Um, and that's why, like I said, that, that underleveled card penalty, I feel like the penalty for having underleveled cards in like Champion is that you're going to get rocked by someone in Champion who has the fully leveled version of that card. If I'm going into Champion and I'm like, do 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 do, I'll play my four star Alphan Iron Hood, and you're facing someone who has a six star Alphan Iron Hood, well, that's the penalty. The penalty is that your card isn't as good as their card, and, and they're probably going to own you based on having the better card. That's enough of a penalty. You don't need to take away from my RP as well on top of that, you know? Uh, let's see. Maybe more crossbreed teams with the dual summoner becomes standard. Exactly. So maybe you end up doing things like playing with uh, Brewmaster Abraxas, and you're like, okay, well, my tank is going to be Chaos Golem now, and then I'm going to have the support coming from things like, uh, things like, where would he be? Things like the Lurking Puffer with the weapons training coming from Dalth and Ironhood or something like that, right? Or maybe you're going to do one of my favorite combos, which I've gotten to play one time and I won this match. You're going to play Torch Myrmidon as your tank with Chaos Orc behind Torch Myrmidon. And that's going to be the new meta, right? Is Torch Myrmidon with Chaos Orc in the second position. Who knows what's going to happen when Chaos Legion rotates. So I just want to say, like, we don't know the future yet. The future is yet untold. And these useless cards right now could end up becoming major players after rotation. The only cards that we know for sure are always going to be good, no matter what, 
are the like 10, 15 good cards right now, as well as Mantaroth and Grimbard and Smith because they're neutrals. You know, like those cards will 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 be good no matter what the next set has to say. Cards like Avena of the Wolf, we know are going to be awesome. You know, uh, like like the good cards will always be good, but the bad cards have the chance of becoming good and becoming useful, just not in the face of having Chaos Legion still available. So that's my thought on why maybe Rebellion isn't doing so well from a sales perspective right now. It's not that the cards are bad. The cards are bad in the face of what currently exists in modern once you include Chaos Legion. But like I said, if they become like the gap fillers or they become the main cards come next set, it's a whole different ball game. And if you haven't been buying your Rebellion right now and you've waited till the new set's out, and no one's bought Rebellion because of this, because of this, right? And no one's bought Rebellion because of this chart here, you know, because of 739,509 packs being burned a day and some going to Dow and only 1254 being purchased. Then I mean, Rebellion has the chance for even those bad cards to become expensive. So that's just something that you're going to bear in mind when you're trying to future proof your deck for the new modern and the new set is that the cards that aren't good today because of Chaos Legion might be the cards that are great tomorrow because next set doesn't fill that void either. So just bear that in mind. Till next time, it's I the Psy. Well, make sure to like, share, and subscribe or do whatever it is that you're supposed to do. I, I'm not good at that stuff, but uh, smash that like button, I've heard some people say. So uh, be sure to do that. Until next time, peace. <laughs>